guys, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Teacher Pulin, and today I will be discussing about gender, interest, and needs. The concept of gender needs is based on the work of Caroline Moser. The understanding of the concept of gender needs will enable you to analyze the position of women in society or institutions. This lesson can help you efficiently and effectively gather information about community attitudes, capacities, and practices related to different gender needs. The deeper understanding can enhance to derive gender policies and planning favoring the equality of women. Gender interest. The gender interest are those that women may develop by virtue of their social positioning through gender attributes. One has to understand the gender interest as the core concern and the gender needs are the means. The core concern are the expected change in the position in the process of empowerment, and the needs are the programs to attain it. Gender needs. Gender needs can be classified as either practical or strategic needs. Practical gender needs. Practical gender needs are the needs women identify in their socially accepted roles in society. Practical gender needs do not challenge, although they arise out of gender divisions of labor and women's subordinate position in society. Practical gender needs are response to immediate and perceived necessity identified within a specific context. They are practical in nature and often concern inadequacies in living conditions such as water provision, health care, and employment. Practical gender needs in productive roles. The productive roles of women demand her economic contributions to the family are employment opportunities, wages, and income. The global economic crisis puts pressure on women to take up multiple roles and the demand for women's productive role has increased in developing countries. Gaining meaningful employment itself is a challenge and inability to meet this need put women in more vulnerable position. The inadequacies in employment lead to poverty and subsequently to nutritional deficiencies and anemia. Similarly, land alienation or promotion of technology in agricultural production often neglect the women's role in agricultural production due to lack of technical skills and moreover due to the division of labor women's entry is not easily welcomed in the areas of non-traditional occupation. Practical gender needs in reproductive roles. Women are tied up with their reproductive, productive, and nurturing roles, and for performing these roles, they do not have a conducive atmosphere. The practical gender needs in reproductive roles includes a favorable living conditions, the health care, safe drinking water, nutritional supplement, child care facilities, sanitation, nutrition, transport, family planning facilities, and fulfilling of other related needs. Practical gender needs in community roles. A woman in their community management roles protects the environment and enhances the capacity of land and soil. Women as mothers and caretakers protect and preserve the resources in the environment. The move to alienate by the vested interest destroys the community resources and do not address the practical gender needs. Therefore, preserving community resources like water, forest land, and other common resources enable to meet the practical gender needs of women so welfare schemes with farsightedness are important. Indicators of Practical Gender Needs 
good housing, safe drinking water, adequate water for domestic and other immediate consumption, maintenance of hygiene and sanitation, regular employment, adequate lighting, wages, childcare facilities, healthcare and insurance coverage for women, Availability of nutritional food and supplement, transportation facilities, electricity, fuel for cooking, income, and availability of provision. Strategic gender needs. Strategic gender needs are the needs of women identified because of their subordinate position in society. They vary according to particular context related to gender division of labor, power, and control, and may include issues such as legal rights, domestic violence, equal wages, and women's control over their bodies. Meeting strategic gender needs assist women to achieve greater equality and change existing roles thereby challenging women's subordinate position. They are more long-term and less visible than practical gender needs. Strategic gender needs in productive roles. In productive roles, the strategic gender needs are to provide training for women in non-traditional entrepreneurship. Land in the name of women give her the choice of decision making and women as agricultural pioneers increase the agricultural production and evades poverty and hunger. A strategic gender needs reproductive role. As we understand that the reproductive role always keeps the women more susceptible for abuses. Violence against women mostly takes place in the homes and therefore women's access to control over their lives and bodies could be the strategic gender needs. Though the inequalities have been caused by the gender discrimination, the attitudinal changes and positive approach on gender relations can address the strategic gender needs of women. Strategic gender needs in community role. The strategic gender needs of women in community roles are the space of for collective organization, freedom of expression, upgradation of their skills, taking up leadership roles for managing community resources. When state policies address strategic uh, gender needs in community, bestows the women with the role of leadership at the community level and thus brings equality in political participation, gender budgeting, credit for capital assets in the name of women. The more the women are organized, the chances are more for empowerment of women and justice in the society. And in long term, the equations for women's role in governance will also change positively when space is created for women's leadership. Indicators of strategic gender needs Access to capital investment Land rights Ownership of assets Equality in wages Political equality Sharing of domestic labor and child care by men Legislation to challenge the abuse of women. Entry of women in non-traditional occupational sectors. Reproductive rights. Control over their bodies. Equal status of women. Constitutional provision. And gender budgeting. This lesson has given you a broader framework and deeper understanding on practical gender needs and strategic gender needs. Practical gender needs tries to address the basic needs, whereas strategic gender needs strategically tries to address the structural and other forms of inequality and discrimination existing between men and women. 
with the help of practical gender needs and strategic gender needs indicators, you can do gender analysis to examine the status of women in particular. Thank you for listening. For more related videos about this topic, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye!